Hello, grade 11s. In this lesson, we discuss why chemical bonds form. The answer is simple, to increase stability. But what does this mean? To help us understand this, let's examine how the chemical potential energy of two hydrogen atoms changes as the distance between their nuclei changes. We will see that the hydrogen atoms have the least chemical potential energy when the distance between their nuclei is their bond length. So first, we need to understand what bond length means. But even before we do that, John shows us some ways to represent molecules. There are many different ways to make models of covalent molecules. We can use balloons to show how the orbitals overlap. Or we can look at a plastic model set of the hydrogen molecule. The balls represent the atoms of hydrogen and the stick represents the bond between them. We can also use marshmallows and different colored sweets to represent atoms. Toothpicks show the covalent bonds between them. This is a hydrogen molecule, two atoms and a single covalent bond. Quite a yummy molecule, wouldn't you say? Let's get back to what bond length means. We'll use the water molecule as an example. Each of the three atoms in water has a nucleus at its center. The water molecule has two bonds. For each bond, the bond length is the distance between the bonded nuclei. In the case of water, the two bond lengths are the same as one another because the two bonds are the same. In the case of a hydrogen molecule, there is only one bond which has a certain bond length. Now we need to understand what chemical potential energy is. Chemical potential energy is the energy that exists because of electrostatic forces and the distance between two particles, in this case, between two hydrogen atoms. What does this mean and why should a distance between atoms cause them to have energy? Remember, energy is the ability to do work. Work is done on a body when force acts on the body as the body moves a distance. So when we say two hydrogen atoms have chemical potential energy, we mean there are forces between the atoms and that the atoms can move. What forces do two hydrogen atoms exert on one another? The charged particles which make up the atoms exert electrostatic forces on one another. Remember that unlike charges exert forces of attraction on one another, and like charges exert forces of repulsion. The negatively charged electrons of each atom attract the positively charged protons of the other atom. The electrons also repel the electrons of the other atom. And the protons of each atom repel the protons of the other atom. The relative strengths of these forces of attraction and repulsion change as the distance between the atoms' nuclei changes. When the atoms are further apart than their bond length, they attract one another more strongly than they repel one another. So there is a net attraction which tends to accelerate the atoms towards one another. But if the atoms get closer together than their bond length, they repel one another more strongly than they attract one another. So there is a net repulsion which tends to accelerate them apart. This is why the two hydrogen atoms tend to settle together at their bond length. When the atoms are at their bond length, they are the most stable. They have the minimum amount of chemical potential energy. This means they are least able to do work on one another when they are at this distance apart. Further than this distance, they can do work on one another as they accelerate together. So they have more chemical potential energy than their minimum. Closer than this distance, they can do work on one another as they accelerate apart. So they have more chemical potential energy than their minimum. Notice that in this graph, Zero chemical potential energy is just a reference zero. A reference zero is a value we choose to use for convenient comparison. It doesn't mean absolute zero. So in this graph, this zero value doesn't mean no energy. It was simply chosen for convenience, as the amount of chemical potential energy these atoms have when they are very far apart. 
So, compared to when the atoms are very far apart, they have less chemical potential energy as they move towards one another. Except if the nuclei move very close to one another. So far, we have explained why two hydrogen atoms bond together to form a molecule which is more stable than the individual atoms. But why, for example, don't two helium atoms do the same? Helium is inert. That means it does not react with anything. It forms no bonds. Why is this? This is the energy graph for two helium atoms as the distance between their nuclei changes. Notice the difference between the graphs for hydrogen and for helium. Clearly, a helium atom does not become significantly more stable if it bonds with another helium atom. Not only helium, but all noble gases are like this. They do not form bonds. Why not? Let's join Diasha to remind us why this is so. To start with, let's have a look at one of the noble gases on the periodic table. Have a look at this element, neon. We know that the atomic number tells us the number of electrons. That means there are 10 electrons in a neon atom. Looking at the energy level diagram, you can see that there are two electrons in the first energy level and that there are eight electrons in the second energy level. Notice this energy level is full. The noble gases are perfectly happy with themselves as they are. They don't want to share electrons, give away electrons, or take on extra electrons. And because of that, they never form compounds with other elements in nature. We say that these elements have a stable electron configuration. The stability of the noble gases electron configuration can also be used to help us explain why bonds form. Back to Diasha. Any atom of any element is on a mission to be like the noble gases. They want to have an outer energy level that is full. Atoms will share, give away or take on electrons to reach this stable electron configuration. Thanks, Diasha. And that's all for this lesson. Don't forget to check out other videos in this series, especially the task video. Also look at the Mindset website at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.